Students in Professor Fredo Rivera's class, Introduction to Art History, were invited to create a video in response to an artwork featured in Grinnell College Museum of Arts exhibition, Let Yourself Continue. Curated by Associate Director Daniel Strong, this exhibition includes more than 50 women artists from the museum's collection and was organized to commemorate the centennial of the 19th Amendment. In this video, we'll hear from Sophie and Ray speaking about work by Jane Hammond. My name is Sophie Dottie Mead. And my name is Ray Martinez. Love Laughs is a large lithographic print made in 2005, colored over with pencils. Composed of 18 distinctive scenes, Love Laughs depicts a fanatical assortment of rims and a chaotic, randomized selection of animals and figures. These subjects appear comical and eclectic, atypically placed in this constructed space, straying from conventional representational forms and sizes to playfully convolute any real understanding of the space. Some depictions we see include a somber clown, two monkeys embracing, and a severed head on a spoon, all of which are strange, eclectic, and whimsical in nature. Color has multifarious functions in love laughs and is used to prompt understandings of feeling, time, and depth. Herman creates a warm, inviting space through her whimsical use of colors, augmenting a playful, fanatical nature of the print through using bright yellows, greens, reds, and browns. These same colors are used as focal points, pulling subjects forwards into the foreground. Differing shades of blue, allude to the passage of time through the alternation of dark to light, symbolizing day to night. Short quotes or sections of text accompany each scene, directly referencing it. These texts are subtly integrated, appearing in the architectural elements of each frame, either in the borders of the piping, on the floor, the ceiling, or a signage. They interject humor into these scenes warping common quotes in a playful way to create ulterior meanings. The columns or pipes that frame each scene not only separate them from one another, but create bridges that guide our eyes from one to another. They create a pattern or a maze for us to follow, as if there is a story being told. When put together, these scenes form a rectangular shape with a pointed tip, like a dollhouse that we can look into and watch as a variety of scenarios unfold simultaneously. Within these frames, there are a few repeated elements. Jesters and clowns and cats appear multiple times, and there are even a few spaces that are identical to each other, with only the objects and text inside them to differentiate them from one another. These elements complement the framing nicely, reinforcing the connections made between rooms. All of these elements come together to form a sort of self-portrait of Hammond herself. Each room illustrates a moral or ideal, all of which are assembled to form a larger mental space. This whimsical, surreal style is reflected across many of her other works, Hammond regularly combines contrasting elements in a collage or collage-like process to form similar spaces as those seen in Love Laughs, including identical rooms that appear in multiple works. Through deviation from realistic representations, Hammond actualizes a mythical, eclectic, comedic mystery within Love Laughs, depicting a habitat that exists as a form of self-discovery and self-expression. <laughs> 